I'm Erica Hollinshed with a recap of the April 9th Thornton City Council meeting. Council approved a resolution in opposition to House Bill 24-1313. The Housing and Transit-Oriented Communities Bill would require Thornton to increase its population in the residential areas located around its bus and transit stations from 7,698 residents to 73,160 residents. If this goal is not met by the end of 2026, Thornton would forfeit an estimated $4.5 million per year from the Highway User Tax Fund, which funds around half of the city's street maintenance program. City Council was presented with the Local Licensing Authority's annual report. The report detailed actions taken by the LLA in 2023, as well as their plans for the future. This includes functions such as local liquor license hearings, transfer of ownership, and requests to modify premises. The Planning Commission and Board of Adjustments also provided their annual report. Thornton appointed members to the newly created commission in January 2024. This annual report highlighted what this newly formed group has accomplished so far, as well as their goals for the future. The Commission's role is to apply and execute the requirements of Chapter 18 of the City Code. Thorn Economic Development provided a quarterly commercial projects update to Council. This included updates on primary employers, incoming retail, the Thornton Shopping Center, and economic development's focus on economic outreach. In April 2024 was recognized as Autism Acceptance Month. Each city council meeting also includes council comments and audience participation. To see the entire city council meeting in high definition, tune to Xfinity Channel 881. You can also watch on demand anytime at thorntonco.tv or by downloading our app for Apple TV or Roku by searching Thornton in your device's app store. The next city council meeting is Tuesday, April 23rd at 7 p.m. For more information about that meeting, visit gocot.net slash council meetings. That's it for this edition of Thornton 360 Council Recap. Thanks for joining us, and we'll see you next time. Until then, you can connect with us on Facebook, Instagram, and Nextdoor.